we have started seeing the launch of the Broadwell Y series processor and it's it's time to review what's the difference between the Y series and the U series. The Y series is uh, basically an ultra low power and the U series is also a low power but not as low as the Y series. The U series is basically designed primarily for the thin laptops. Uh, so they are in the same series as Intel's Core i3 and i5 of the Haswell series. Of course, the reduction in the in the size of the uh, uh, lithography from 22 nanometer to 14 nanometer has enabled to further reduce the power consumption and that enables Intel to launch its Y series which is ideal for tablets with good enough performance of a uh, rather a uh, notebook level performance in a size that can fit into a tablet. So if you look at the power pro profile and Y series has a TDP rating of 2.5 watts and U series has a TDP rating of 15 watts or higher. Now at 4.5 watts, you don't need a fan. That's one thing. Secondly, even though you need a heat sink, the amount of the heat sink required is really minimal. You need a very thin sheet just to spread out the heat that's coming from the top of the processor to spread it out so it can radiate more easily. So and that allows uh, the design of thin tablets. Y series can also be used to design the ultra thin uh, tablet, ultra thin notebooks, which will, which, which which we should see in the coming days, and we expect that really some uh, most uh, thinnest uh, tablets that has been ever designed. In terms of graphics, the Y series has lower number of shaders, lower number of cores, and you can expect that its performance will be. More, uh, lower than the U series. The U series comes with either GT2 or GT3. It will of course be smaller, slower than the, the one that come with GT3. The Y series with GT2 will be slower than the U series that comes with GT3 graphics. Uh, one minor difference, of course, the Y series supports a max memory of 6, 8 GB, which should be good enough for most of the tasks, but U series can support up to 16 GB in cases where required. Uh, we have seen the launch of Core, uh, Core Y processor and that says 5Y10 and 5Y10A and these are 800 megahertz nominal clock frequency but its turbo clock can go up to 2 gigahertz and this seems to be promising for the tablets. 